Okay, to make our Easter bunnies, uh, you want to get a, a piece of paper folded as if you were making a fan. So you fold it over, then turn your piece of paper and fold on top, flip your paper and turn again. So it's all joined like a fan, can you see? Okay, after that, it's a lot like making the snowmen you make at Christmas. Um, they're all joined together. So here we go, we'll have a little go at drawing the rabbit. You don't want the paper too thin or the rabbits will end up too thin. So we need some nice big ears. And a head. The head doesn't have to go to the edge. And then the arms need to come out to the edge. Because they're going to hold each other. And then his body. And feet out to the back. And then, depending whether you want to do the front of the rabbit or the back of the rabbit, will depend whether you end up putting his tail on. I'm going to do the back of the rabbit. So he's going to have a nice big tail there. Can you see? That's the back. Next, you're going to need to cut your rabbit out. So, with your scissors, you cut the shape, cut him round, cut into his feet shape, and his arms. I can hear my son breathing heavily. Have you been out running around, Rowan? Uh, no, I've just been doing two works. Okay, so then we're going to go up round his ears. And round his ears again. Round his head. It's important you do the arms, otherwise he won't join on when you try to open him out. Or her out, whichever way you want to do it. And his legs. So hopefully we'll have two join places. So once you've cut him and got rid of all your scrappy bits of paper and tidied those away nicely, you're then going to have concertina bunnies. And you can decorate them however you like. I like to decorate them with lots of different colours, but you might want to make them look realistic. You might want to make them a rainbow. You could make a rainbow of bunnies and put them in your window to spread hope. Have fun!